Hi guys, my name is Dee from Dee's Creations and everybody has asked me how I have made my Jean Pocket Angels. So I am going to show you how I created the ones that I posted. Um, first, of course, you're going to need a pair of jeans and I also um, have round balls. They are um, 25 mm's. These ones I chose because I, I want to have the holes in them so I can actually put the jute cord in to hang them. Okay, so you'll need, depending on how many you make, um, I have two, so I'm going to make two. There's the two heads. Then you're going to need some jute and um, my embellishments. I'm going to use these stars. So I have three of these stars. And then this is some wired greenery, which I'm going to use for my halos. But you could also use pipe cleaners or you can use moss to use on your angel heads instead of this if you don't have this green it's green wire okay all right and i'm also using these um rusty bells which are 0.5 and i got these off of amazon okay and the stars are one inch so just to show you how big they are. I don't know if you can see that, but they are one inch. And then what I'm going to do is stain those with this Tattered Angel Color Wash Tint in French Roast. So that's what I want to stain these stars with. And then um, I also like to put glitter on my wings so I used the Mod Podge okay and then what I originally used was this and it is like a crushed crystal but you could also use diamond dust if you have that or you could also use just glitter which I got from Walmart Okay, whatever you have on hand. Or you can just leave them plain as well. Okay, and of course you'll need a paintbrush because I just painted it on there. Okay, let's get started. So what we're going to do is I'm first going to cut the pocket out. I just start at the top and just... I'm just going to cut this pocket out. You want to get close to the, right close to the side right there and just cut along the side and cut your pocket right out. And it doesn't really matter what jeans, these are stretchy, but they'll still be fine. You just want the pocket anyway. Just cut right along the seam. Just cut it right out, see? Cutting along the seams. Then I'm gonna just you don't want any overhang because you don't want any of that to show. So I cut as close as you possibly can. Okay, see I just cut that right out. Then you put that aside. And you want to go through it make sure you don't have any overhang so you just want to cut any overhang you have on all right and then i'm just going to go in and see how you got your pocket you don't need this part you just want the front of your pocket so you're just going to go in there just going to cut all that out Like before, you just want to get close to the edges. Okay, 
Okay, now you're still going to have some of that stuff in here. You're going to want to cut that out too. It makes you want to cut that all off too. Because that will bunch up and it won't look very pretty. Just get as close to the side as you can. all cut out and you just have your front of your pocket get this all out of here okay. all right so now you're gonna have your pocket you're gonna take some and just take your jute your cut Approximately, let's see. Let's see how much we're going to cut off here. That one's not long enough. Let's break out the bigger ruler here. So I say at least nine inches, okay? So you want at least to cut at least nine inches, okay? Straight, just to make sure you have enough to you know, tie a bow and everything. You can even go 10 inches. All right, and set that down. Get that out of the way. You're gonna put that right behind your pocket, right behind it, okay? Up near the top. All right, see, about like, probably about, maybe, maybe about an inch. Okay, about an inch. And you're just gonna take and you wanna gather it in. Just take it like pitch it in. Okay, and then you're gonna take your jute. Can you see that okay? Let's see. See how I just gathered it? Alright. Just gather it up. It's the back. That's the front. Alright. So you're gonna take it, gather that up. Then you're gonna take it, you're gonna just take it, you're gonna tie that, just tie it up, give it a tug. Then you're just gonna fix that top. See how you're gonna just spread it apart like a fan? And I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit because I don't want quite that much. All right, right about there. All right, so, how about, all right. See, we got about. So that's probably about, let's see how much that is. Yep, about an inch from the tie, from the tie to the top. So you got an inch from the jute rope to the top, okay? So that's where you want it to tie and you got your gather. All right, so you're just gonna make sure you tie that good and tight. And then you can make a bow. Just make a simple bow. Just tie it. Just a, you don't need to do anything fancy unless you wanna do something fancy. I just do a simple bow. All right, so now you got that. Give it a tug and see how you got just a, just a, here, there you go, just a simple bow. All right, then, so you spread that out, you spread that out and you want to get 
to your middle, okay? So you got it all spread out here, both sides, nice and fanned out, and then you're gonna come and you're gonna find your middle right here, okay? Then you're gonna take and you're gonna pinch that down. Oh, let's get that out of the way here, all right? So you pinch that down, see? Now there's your wings right there. This is one side of your wig, and that's your other side of your wig, okay? I know it doesn't look like wings yet, but it will. All right, so once you have that pinched down, you're gonna take your glue gun, and you're gonna take, go to the back, all right? You're gonna put a dab of glue right in there. Get, get a good amount, so it'll be nice and put a hold, see? Got a nice good amount there. You're just gonna pinch it down and hold it for a second. Get it so make sure it's nice in, in the middle. You want to make sure your sides are up like that. You see that? Okay, there you go. All right, so right there. All right, so that's that's what you got so far. Okay, so it's pinched down right there in the middle. All right, now you're gonna come back. And you have your head, okay? All right, see your head, your wood head. All right, so you're gonna wanna make sure you got the whole top, bottom. And first off, we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little hanger for your angel, all right? And on my last one, I put the hanger in the back. It made it a little top heavy for the angel kind of leaned forward. So we're gonna do it this way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a little hanger. I'm gonna tie a, get long enough to, this is, let's see, about six and a half inches. All right, and then I'm just gonna, Take and I'm gonna put this down in the hole. All right, I'm gonna tie a little knot in the bottom. I get it all the way to the bottom. Just a, just a little. Oops, sorry about that. A little knot. Okay. All right, then we're gonna pull that back down. Try to get that inside, that knot inside there, inside that hole. If you have to use your scissors to poke it up, because we don't want that. We want that inside so it doesn't, if you have a little of that extra hanging out, you're gonna wanna clip that off, because you want this to be flat against your Okay, so there you go. See, you got your little head with the hanger, okay? Now you're gonna take that and you're gonna stick that right in between, right in between there, okay? That's where you want the head. See, now, now you can start to tell this little wings. Those will be spread out a little bit, but there's her head, okay? So we're gonna take the hot glue we're going to put a good dab on there again. That bow is actually driving me crazy, so I'm going to take and untie the bow. Don't tie a bow. <laughs> Wait until afterwards. Okay, so we're going to take a nice good glob and put right in there. Make sure you get that to the back so it doesn't come, the glue doesn't come through to the front, okay? So when you put your, your ball back on, you don't want a lot of glue in your front. So you want to make sure you... Place your head right in the center. And make sure there's more glue to the back than into the front. Ouch, that glue is hot. <laughs> All right, see, there you go. All right, so now we got the angel head. Just take and spread her wigs out a little bit. There we go. Make sure that head is on there nice and tight. You see, there's the back of it. Okay. Oops. 
sorry about that all right there you go and so far this is what we got of the angel okay now we're gonna take it spread apart her dress down here we're gonna take it tie make that bow again here no nope, actually i'm not going to do the bow yet again i am going to take and do the glitter on her angel wigs now okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my paintbrush and i'm going to take my mod podge and i'm going to take a paper plate set my angel on there I'm going to spread my wigs apart a little bit here. And I'm going to take and now you might get a good amount of Mod Podge and just like brush it right on her, brush it right onto the jeans, right onto her right wing. I'll make sure you get into the creases and everything, okay? Just a little good amount. Just spread it all around. Get into the creases. Don't get any on her head. Just be careful not to get any on. I mean, that's a little too much, but I can just, yeah, spread it apart. Okay, just make sure you don't get any on her head. Just put it on the wigs. Okay, see? There's one side with the Mod Podge. On the sides, make sure you get all the sides and everything. You don't want it, you know, clumpy or anything because you want it to dry good. Just spread it all out. Okay, so that one side is done. Now I'm going to take my crushed crystals. Okay, you can see that okay. And I'm going to just take and get this out of the way here. And I'm just going to take and pour it right on there. Just pour it right on there, get a lot of it. That's why I'm using the plate. all right in there and then just dump it off so it gets all the excess off of there give it a tap okay and there see see how beautiful that is just makes it so pretty and then when it dries you don't see you don't see that the glue or anything, you know, the Mod Podge or anything. You just see the crystals and it's so, so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to take it to the other side with the Mod Podge. Okay. I'm not going to go, see how I'm not like going right, going right all the way to the other side. I'm leaving a little bit of the jean. I'm just not going all the way. Hang on one second, let me just get this on here and I'll show you a little bit better. Hang on.
one more second. I just want to make sure I get this nice and coated. Remember not to get any on the head of the angel. And then you, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> all right. Then you just take and you sprinkle on the other side. Just one second. Make sure I get this. All right. Make sure I get the sides really good. All right. Okay. So, see how I left that middle, whoops, this middle, right, just the middle, just the very middle I just left, just so it looks just like only the wigs are scattered with the crystals, okay, so that part is done, now I'm going to Put the rest of my crushed crystals back. Hang on one sec. Now I'm going to take the um, Tattered Angel Color Wash Tint and oops, this right here. And I am going to, excuse me if you heard that, I'm going to shut my door real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and put that on these stars. So let me get, I'm going to take some baby wipes. Alright. You only have to use a little bit of this. You could get this at um, Hobby Lobby. Alright. Just a little bit on the end. It's really dark. So you don't have to use a lot. You just gonna take it, or you can also use the um, Waverly chalk paint or in the antique. That'll also give it a really pretty color. Or you can paint them whatever color you. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Alright. I'm going to pause the video while I blow these dry real quick. Okay. Now... I just dried those and I'm going to take and spread out her dress a little bit and I'm going to find where I want to put these. You can put them anywhere on her dress that you want. I think I'm going to put a couple Yeah, I think I'm just going to take a, put a couple right here on, right here on the side for this angel. I don't think I'm going to use all three of them. I'm just going to use two of them. I just put some, some hot glue on it and just glue it right to the jeans pocket. 
There we go. All right. And there goes that. All right. Now, if you get some of the glue kind of squirts out it, just take your fingernail and it comes off real easy. Okay. There we go. All right. So, now that's done. Let me get the little strays off. So, there she's got her little stars on her. You could embellish it with beads. You could sew beads on her. Oh, I see I didn't get all the siding off. So let me cut the rest of that off. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna tie her bow for her little part of her front here. Now you could also, you don't have to use jute, you could use um, lace um, to tie around her waist. Um, you could use anything to tie around her waist that you have. I mean, be creative. Use whatever you want. That's what we do as crafters. We see one crafter do something and then we just, we make it our own. And that's what's fun about crafting. It's about seeing somebody do something and making it uniquely ours. Okay, now this bow is going to give me a hard time. I just knew it would. Alrighty then. Okay. I don't want it too big because I don't want it to take away from her wigs. So we gotta pull it and then pull the string. And if you lock off some of the crystals, you can add some more crystals. You, you know, it'll, it's all good. All right, so, all right. So now we got the little bow. Now I'm gonna take, okay. Button here. Stop giving me a hard time. All right. All right. I can bring that underneath here. There we go. All right. So I'm going to pull that a little bit tighter here, a little bit tighter there. Give it a little yank there. All right. You just got to keep playing with it until you like how big it is or how small it is. All right. I think that's good. One more. Oh, and then I'm gonna put a little dab of glue behind it just to keep it, just to keep it from moving around on me. There we go. Then I just hold it down for just a second, and then I'll show you. All right. Okay, so now she's got her her bow. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. All right, so there's her bow. Now you can leave it like that, you know, or um, like I'm going to do, I'm going to take my little rusty bells because I love rusty bells and I love all primitive things. So I'm going to take my little rusty bell. Now I don't want that little, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got a little hair thing on it. So I'm going to actually take that off so I can push the rusty bell farther so I can get it nice and close. So I'm just going to take that off with my cutters here. Comes off pretty easy so it's not hard. And see now it just does it. Just got a flat end and I'm going to take and glue that. Put some dab of glue and I'm going to stick it right onto right just below the 
bow. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little bit of the bottom jute off just just because I don't want it quite that long. There we go. So, and there's that part. You can see the bell and stuff. Okay. Now we're going to make her little halo. So now we're going to take some of this green. All right. Now this is wire, so I'll be using my wire cutters. And take before I uh, cut off a piece here. Okay, just so I don't have to try to worry about all of this because this gets aggravating. All right, let's get this out of the way. So, I cut off uh, not quite three inches, not quite three inch piece, okay? So, we're going to take that, we're going to shape it for her halo. So, you just take it, you pull it around, just, just a little halo. I don't want her to have something big. I'm going to put it, take and put it through there like that and take it set it on her head yep, just like that just gonna set it on her head just like that see and nope I don't want it tinted tilted so just like that see and then I'm gonna take and put a dab of glue right in the back to secure it to her head just right to the back of her head a little just a, a little dab of glue and then take and push it just hold it there for a second see just hold it there all right there you go you have your pocket angel your chin pocket angel. You can fiddle with her and you can add more stuff to her or do whatever you want. You can put, you can take it, um, like if you have someone that's gone to be with God, you know, you can take and put their um, initials or their name on there. It just, you know, that's just something precious you can hang on the tree to remember them. And you can um, put the year on there and just, just a precious memory or, you know. And you can do these with um, any size jeans and men's jeans. You can make a, a guy angel and you don't have to put the the um the diamond dust or the crushed crystals or anything on it and there you go i hope this helped everybody thank you bye